This episode was made possible through the continuing support of Mr. Andrew Cole. Thank you, sir. Hi there, guys, and welcome back to Authorized Personnel Only. We are at the plant. Once again, we're out at Site 3, and I'm happy to kick off a whole new season of this. We got, I, got, I got cameras out. I'm going to be doing some videos on the whole camera setup. And really, today is all about, do you even lift, bro? So it's the end of the day. Everybody's taken off. It's quiet in here. It's freakishly quiet in here. And I wanted to show you what we had going on. So I'm going to get up there, and we'll show you what we're doing. All right, so today's adventure involved setting two beautiful brand new manual chain hoist up there. And we got them hooked to the, the straps there in a double basket configuration for enhanced skookumness. There's, there's four straps, two on each side, double basketed, all two hell. It's really, it's quite lovely. And we are holding a portion of the load of the entire generator at this moment. And not all of it, and it doesn't, it doesn't look like we're doing much right now, but we're actually doing a lot in a very tiny space. And that is the very tiny space. See how that's about three quarter of an inch up? That's all we had to do. We had to get it up just a tiny little bit so that we could put that gap in the main shaft. So you can see down the hole, we have the awesome Super Skookum 2x4s of science that are holding up the, the basically the tiny little bit of weight down there. They're holding up just the, the turbine blade and the, the lower section of shaft. And the upper section of shaft is still attached to the generator. That's the, that's the big thing up there. And we're, we're separating all that from each other right there. We just need that little bit of gap because we're gonna take that cover off. Now you can see we got the slip rings off. They're sitting all kitty wampus way up there and that is killing my soul because I desperately want to take those home to my shop and give them like a big beautiful perfect cleaning that'd be so cool but instead we're just gonna have to do the best we can down in here because to get those off we'd have to lift the whole thing up like another foot and that would suck but the big project on this is we're gonna open this here you can see the bolts tucked into the side there we gotta take those out and that's that's gonna suck but once we get the bolts out, the entire center housing there splits in half. It's a big clamshell assembly, and hidden deep inside is a bit of awesome electromechanical sexiness. There's a motor and a gearbox inside there, and we gotta swap the motor out. That motor adjusts the blade angle on the turbine hidden down in there. We showed you the turbine uh, last year. I went down, did the whole thing under there, showed you all the turbine blades and everything. Well, the pitch angle on those turbine blades is adjustable by a motor inside there, and we got a, the, the motor's just pooched. It's bad. It's bad. So we're going to swap that out. So just to make that little gap there, just to open that hatch there, we had to lift this up that far here with that giant combination of rigging and these jack screws. This is, when I mentioned it's holding a substantial portion of the weight up with all the rigging in that, it is. The rest of the weight is being held on these little jack screws. Big M, my sexy generator, sits on a concrete plinth. This concrete plinth sits on the floor and that holds the weight of the whole thing. Resting upon the concrete plinth is an inch thick ring of solid steel. That piece of steel normally bears the weight from the flange on the main housing. The main housing has these bolts in it. Now they're not the only bolts it has, Normally, there's the hold down bolts. These bolts thread through here and down into the piece of steel and hold the generator down because we wouldn't want it wandering off. People steal stuff. There's another set of bolts that go all the way around and these bolts, instead of being loose here and threaded in down here, these bolts are threaded in here and there's nothing under here except the steel plate. There's, there's no hole for it to go into. So when you tighten these bolts down, it pushes against the steel and lifts up the housing. And you can generate quite an impressive amount of force with that. This bolt is an inch thick. Let's see how much that's rated for. All right, so let's 
try and figure out exactly what the clamping force is on this. Now, bolts get stronger the bigger they get because, you know, metal. And the cool thing is smart people have made all kinds of charts and stuff like this. So if we look at the chart, we can see that on the left side, we got the size and then it gives you some technical stuff, bolt diameter, tensile stress area, all that jazz. And we're just going to assume, because we don't really know, we're going to say, we're going to be conservative and say that this is probably a grade five bolt because uh, working here, I know that we don't spend the money for grade eight bolts. So it's probably a grade five. So if we look at the grade five bolt chart, we start on the left side and we, we look at one dash eight. That's a one inch bolt with eight threads per inch. And then we go over here on the other side and we can see that a one inch eight TPI bolt is good for 38,600 pounds of force for the, the clamp load. Okay, 38,600 pounds of clamp load force. So that's, that, it, it'll do, it's gonna be okay. The entire arrangement here might weigh 30 tons-ish, so I think we're gonna be fine. So to lift this whole thing up, all you have to do is take out all the bolts that go all the way around, start screwing down the lifting bolts, put on a big sling, start lifting up in the air, and then balance this, which takes two people up there, with two people down here, turning wrenches and bringing those up a little bit at a time, just, just like a quarter turn. And you can very carefully, very gently walk this up about three quarter of an inch. And that was the adventure of the day. We lifted the whole thing up a little tiny bit, and, and now it's in the air. So I spent the afternoon doing generator bondage. It's kind of cool. So that's a quick look at day one on this project. Everybody's gone home for the day. That's all we're gonna accomplish. That, that was a lot. That, it took a lot to get here and everybody did really good. Nothing got broke, nobody got hurt. And when you have tons and tons and tons of weight in the air hanging from big chain hoists and all that, the number one goal for me at the end of the day is that nothing got broke, nobody got hurt, whether or not we actually accomplished anything is absolutely secondary to those two things. But we did a good job. It was really cool. I'm, I'm super happy. I'm happy to be back making these videos again, which is pretty badass. So I want to thank all of you guys for hanging out and just getting a quick look back on this. There really isn't much to see today. I just wanted to explain the process because that's not something you get to see every day. Like, I work here, and this, I've, never, I've never been in on a big lift before. This is all new to me. So I'm, I'm excited. There's, there's a lot going on. There's giant bolts and stuff. And, and there was the, the wank factor today was through the roof because we kept needing a tool, and you got you to go drive into town or drive to another site or something like that to get the tool. It was a pain in the ass. So the whole day was like that. But we're back. We're making power plant vids, and I want your questions because we've got so many of them, and there's... And, I know you guys have so many questions. You have so many things you want to know. Start submitting your questions in the comments. Anything you want to know about how this works, how anything is operated here, why, what we do, how we fix stuff, all that jazz. We are, I'm, I'm gearing up to do a lot of videos in the Authorized Personnel Only series. So, and I'm, I really want to focus on your questions because you got stuff you want to know, I got stuff I want to teach. Let's have some fun, let's do this. But that's the first one. That's the beginnings of it all. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. And as always, I'll see you next time.